So in this quick video, I'm going to show you quickly why concentricity and symmetry symbols were removed from the 2018 standard. So I'm going to use a couple of pictures from my earlier 2009 workbook because that's where I had the concentricity symbol. So in the old standard, they had concentricity as a cloud of median points that have to be within your tolerance zone. So you'd have your datum axis A, just like position taunts, and this creates a cylindrical tolerance zone of 0.1. Now it's not the axis of the feature that has to be within the tolerance zone, but the cloud of median points. Now what that means is if you have an irregularly shaped feature like this from an imperfect part, and you take the opposing midpoint, maybe it's about right there. If you go across here and you find the opposing midpoint, it's maybe about right there. If you do the opposing midpoint, it's maybe about right there. And that cloud of points has to fall within that cylindrical shape tolerance zone. So an infinite number of opposing median points along each cross section, you make sure that cloud stays within there. Pretty weird. <laughs> and that was the specification that was in the 2009, 1994, and all the way back to the 1982 standard. The problem with the symbol is it got confused all the time with coaxiality. So coaxiality is one axis related to another axis. We control that with our good old position taunts. Position, you have one axis as the datum, and you position the other one to the datum. So if they've got coaxiality covered, then somebody from the standards meeting, they said, well, we want this cloud of midpoints for high-speed balance and everything, so they invented concentricity. And I think that was the mistake. They took a very generic term, concentricity, and made it mean something weird and obscure. The imposing midpoints have to be within the tolerance zone. So I hear that all the time. People say, I want those to be concentric, when really they want them to be coaxial, <laughs> and they want to use the position symbol instead. So that's why they removed it from the 2018 standard is because it was causing a lot of confusion. I had a lot of trouble what I would do training at a company. I would walk in, I said, don't use concentricity, and they wanted to throw me out right away. This guy doesn't even know what concentricity means. I said, I do, but really want to use coaxiality and position symbol instead. The symmetry symbol had the same problem. You're not looking at one center plane relative to another center plane. In this case, look how your datum is the center plane but symmetry controls the cloud of opposing midpoints. So you're going to take an infinite number of opposing midpoints, and when you do this, you get a feature in the middle that looks like a little wet rag, and that little wet rag has to fall within your tolerance zone of 0.1, two parallel planes. But usually people don't want that. They really just want one center pane located to the other center plane, so they really wanted position tolerance all along. So that's my quick video of why they switched from concentricity and symmetry, because we really all want you to use position tolerance instead. We position a hole when it's off the center. Why wouldn't we just position a hole when it's on the center? Now one small caveat here is ISO standard still does use concentricity and symmetry, but in ISO standard, it is going to be an axis and a center plane instead. So ISO standard, position, and symmetry simply mean position tolerance. They have identical meaning, just one on the center and one off the center. But ASME standard, don't use those symbols anymore. Stick with your good old position symbol.